On this episode of the CBD University podcast, imagine having a job at testing the newest CBD products in the industry from edibles to topicals, everything in between. We're giving you a taste of that on this episode of the CBD University podcast, and it starts right now. I'm Joe Agostinelli, host of the CBD University podcast. If you are a returning listener, welcome once again to our podcast. If you are a new listener, we are glad you found us on your podcast platform of choice. Reminder, hit that subscribe button on your favorite podcast platform. You'll get notifications when new episodes are released each week. You can also tune in to live video episodes of all of our podcasts on the Global Widget YouTube channel and the YouTube channels of our brands. And this is, uh, if you are watching on our YouTube channel, this is another one of our uh, Zoom uh, podcasts, which have become kind of the norm uh, <laughs> during this thing we're going on, uh, this health pandemic. Uh, and on this episode, I'm excited. Uh, we read C-Store Decisions uh, all the time, and I'm excited to uh, welcome Thomas Malloy of C-Store Decisions uh, with a great backdrop, nice professional. He's rivaling, <laughs> rivaling our professional uh, set up here. So Thomas, I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy day. I know you have a lot going on over there. You guys are doing a lot of great things, but thanks for uh, we do uh, podcast. Uh, I don't have the I don't have the uh, neon light you've got back there. I wish <laughs> I had something like that, but you know they're not going to send that to my basement because we're all working at home now. Okay, um, but we we do okay. Our, our graphics department put put these things together, and awesome. uh, they're terrific. Yeah, they really yeah. are. And uh, you can see more of those uh, in some of the videos right on their website. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that as we get going here uh, in the podcast. But as I mentioned on the uh, intro, uh, you're no stranger to any of the uh, new products that uh, come out to the market. And, uh, but first, before we get into uh, some of the products and some of the trends and what you're seeing in the industry and a little bit about yourself, how you got involved with C-Store Decisions and, and into the CBD space. Uh, well, I've got I've got some radio background. Um, early in my career, I worked in uh, some local news. Uh, I was a news reporter. Then I also did. <clears throat> I also worked at a um, a small weekly newspaper here in Cleveland. Um, and then uh, I kind of got into some other things. But I always kind of kept something going on for a while. I volunteered doing like a little entertainment, uh, ten minute entertainment uh, broadcast that mm. would uh, I would record that at home, and then they would play it uh, on a Sunday program. Uh, on a weekly basis. So I always kind of kept in touch with different things like that. And I've always been doing um, just media stuff and writing and always keeping the juices flowing. And I got into photography and things like that. And it all came full circle. And now I'm doing all that stuff uh, here at C Store Decisions and for CBD Retail Trends. And uh, as I mentioned, in full transparency, as a part of Thomas's role, he's tried out our newest products. And we'll get to that uh, in, a, in a little bit. But first, let's start off with the state of the industry. Is there one type of product over another, whether it be edibles, whether it be topicals, uh, whether it be something else that you're seeing more and more of now that you may have not seen uh, prior? It's got to be the edibles. I mean, it, it's, it's just an easy entryway. I think right now in the, in the convenience store business, um, their customers are just, just getting familiar with CBD products. And um, these are most familiar with other products they've had. So, you know, anything from gummies. Also, the sodas are a good thing, too. Um, you know, it's a drink. They've, had, they've bought sodas before. So uh, folks who are just a little curious and are going to try it once they get convinced that it's a good thing and it might help them out. Um, I think those are two of the, the, the top ones that I'm seeing a lot more of, um, a lot more of the CBD waters as well. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of the drinkables, a lot of the edibles, I'd say. Plus, the price point is right on those, too. So. And speaking of the edibles, uh, one of the videos uh, that you had done not too long ago was when we uh, came out with our new CBD gummies uh, oh, yeah. from, uh, from Hemp Bombs. Uh, your thoughts on, on, on the gummies and as you see more and more edibles, uh, what was uh, some of the feedback uh, for us? Well, first off, with any, any gummies, um, it, it's rare that I found a bad one like that tastes bad, that like tastes like a, that has a bad flavoring, whatever science behind it. I don't know mm -hmm. what, what they do. Um, so you gotta be careful not to treat them like candy. <laughs> but uh, the ones I've got from you guys, um, there's the regular strength and the extra strength, I think it is. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'll take at least one or two of those during the day. And then I, I pop one of, the, um, one of the sleep ones at night just before I go to bed. Awesome, and, uh, and a I, fan of the new flavors? Yes, I am. All the flavors. 
Yeah, I was, do you have a favorite one? Uh, you can be honest. Yeah, we we I, ask folks on our social media all the time. If you if whichever one I'm whichever one I'm having right at that moment is my favorite. Awesome, <laughs> That's all I can awesome. Tell you. Well, we're good to uh, <laughs> we're glad to hear that. Now, in addition to uh, edibles, we seem to be seeing more and more topicals uh, on the market and among mm -hmm. our line of CBD topicals. Our award-winning bath bombs uh, available from both our brands, hemp bombs and Nature Script. What have you seen from companies in regards to topical products and maybe how they can work hand in hand with some of the edibles that are on the market today. I think the topicals, a lot of that is, is, uh, is wellness. And um, you're going to, I've seen kind of maybe two, two types of consumers on that playing out. Um, the older folks uh, who, you know, I'm almost there myself. Well, you know, my wife will tell me some days that I am there, but uh, you know, the aches and pains you get when you get older, mm -hmm. they're little things, but they can, they can be a real problem. They can be, you know, they can hamper you and get in the way a little bit. So um, I've seen a lot of uh, creams, a lot of roll-ons, that kind of thing mm -hmm. um, targeted at older consumers, but also the, uh, the athlete, um, either the weekend warrior, yeah. um, those folks a lot. Of, and that, <clears throat> that goes hand in hand with guys who are getting old and still want to take part in, you know, different leagues and things like that, whether it be, you know, football on the weekend or, mm -hmm. or, you know, softball during the summer or anything like that. Um, but uh, you also see a lot of very active athletes who are using CBD topicals uh, to relieve pain that, you know, either with the menthol in them or without the menthol or whatever, mm -hmm. all different kind of mixes of stuff. There's an awful lot of products out there and they run the gamut on all three of those consumers. And our newest product uh, on the topical line that just came out, the uh, CBD lip balm. Uh, if you're mm. a coconut vanilla fl uh, flavor fan, uh, maybe we'll, we'll, send you a <laughs> we'll send you a sample of that. So, uh, you could call it pina colada. Is that more? There you go. Yeah. No, I'm just, no, I like I'm just it. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> send me one of those. Yeah, we that'd will. be great. Yeah, absolutely. 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 We'll do that. Uh, without mentioning, you know, any specific brand or company. I mean, obviously, is, is, is an organization who – is on, you know, has a finger on the pulse of everything in the CBD industry. Have you been sent or seen products that folks have sent in that, you know, just don't make the one, the list of the ones you actually do test or, or, or promote? Have you seen some, some crazy products yet, or is this industry not yet to that phase? I think what we've got to be careful of is the TA, it's this, THC, like too much yeah. THC or a lot of, a lot of the retailers are wary of this. Because mm -hmm. anything that has to do, especially in the uh, convenience uh, channel, anything that has to do with getting high or marijuana, they don't want that because the, the, they, the, all their C stores, they're family places, you know. Yeah. You bring the kids, you get the chicken there, you get whatever, the hoagies, or a lot of people get dinner there, there's candy, mm -hmm. there's drinks, everything else. They don't want, you know, they're, they're, it's, a, it's a family place. And um, anything that has to do with that kind of thing, they don't want to see that connection. Um, I'd say in the C store channel anyway. Uh, I once had a, um, I was sent a tincture. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I opened it, it smelled like a big bag of pot. Mm. And that ain't, no, that's not gonna, I don't think that's gonna work, you know, that kind of thing. Um, most products I've seen though, across the board are done really well. They don't mm -hmm. have that kind of thing there. But um, I say anything that has to do with, with you know, that's too connected to marijuana and too connected mm -hmm. to, you know, the whole high thing. Um, I think if you stick with wellness, you stick with how this is going to help you get through the day um, and make you feel better uh, and just, you know, function normally. I think that uh, anything like that, those are great products and that's what they're, they're going to be looking at. Thoughts as we head now into the final quarter of 2020 and into 2021 in the C store mm -hmm. space, do you see still the edibles, you know, or do you see some maybe emerging products there that uh, may share some of the shelf space with the uh, edibles when it comes to CBD products? Uh, I would say we're seeing an awful lot more drinks. I think I said this before was the, the mm -hmm. sodas. You're seeing a lot of different sodas and iced teas. Mm -hmm. And some of these teas are really good. There's some creative flavoring going on. There's some mango and other stuff. They're mixing like mango and strawberry and things like that. There's some really creative uh, combinations there. But uh, I'd say the drinks are probably the next one. And again, it's an easy... I don't want to say gateway, but it's an easy yeah. entry point for folks who are looking to just try CBD and see if it, if it helps them out. Um, so I think that one, and um, uh, of course these topicals are, yeah. I think anyone's looking for relief. The topicals are, are something they're going to reach for as mm -hmm. long as it's not too high in the price point, because, yeah. you know, um, even though a lot of folks don't understand, and this is another point too, or, 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 or one more question but, yeah. uh, is the whole is what CBD 
Uh, how, how long does the tincture last? They don't understand how many, yeah. how many doses and all that stuff. And it's going to take time to get that education across. But right now, it's the familiar stuff. And I'd say the edibles. And I'd say beyond that, you're looking at the sodas and drinks and things like that. And that takes us to the next question. And is education one of those, you know, the emerging issues that you see in this industry that face retailers? Is it that education for consumers of exactly, you know, what this product does for them, how much they should take that as one of the issues? And what are some of the other issues that you may hear uh, from industry insiders in regards to selling CBD products in the C-Store space? Yeah, I would say the education absolutely is, is a big thing because folks just don't know. Um, and, you know, with the explosion of all the products across the board, the whole industry, uh, you know, the retailers don't know. And mm -hmm. they're trying to learn this as best they can. So they've got a big job ahead of them. But and then the, then you've got to get the consumer who's just going in to, you know, buy a product. They don't, they don't you know, they're not there to go to school and study this stuff. But still, um, I have run into some retailers who find that pamphlets mm -hmm. uh just they don't force them on people they're just there at the counter if you're interested or if they've got a if they got a, a separate cbd display they've got them there um they have information on their websites uh they're also um going to specific cbd retailers to train some staff members to learn about these things so they can answer any questions there's um there's a chain up in uh in the northeast up in new hampshire and massachusetts verk uh they have i don't know how many c stores i think maybe maybe two or three dozen i'm not sure um off the top of my head but they are all in on this the owner mm -hmm. I, I did a podcast with him not too long ago about six eight ten months ago and he is all in for it i mean he based upon his firsthand experience with CBD products. He said, he's, I think he's in his early to mid sixties. He says it has helped him out with his daily aches and pains. He feels better. He moves better. He wakes up better. He sleeps better and he's using CBD. And so just based on that, he did a little bit more uh, research, got some more information. So what he's done is he has taken, he took out a small uh, quick serve restaurant you know, like, uh, yeah, I'm not, not going to mention any kind of brand or anything, but mm -hmm. he, he took the restaurant out and he put in a CBD store, mm. not just a kiosk, but there's a store there with a dedicated staff member who works for him, but they have, you know, a little smock or shirt or whatever um, for the, the partner that is operating the store, but they bring in all different brands. Um, but that person is trained uh, in what CBD can and can't do, what the hmm. different types of products are, uh, what the dosing is, why this is this, why that is that. Um, and I really think this is going to be, I'd say the wave of the future for an awful lot of convenience stores, uh, chains. And something else you mentioned uh, during our conversation was the price point. You know, is there a price point, price level in the C store space for products to be competitive and still be top of mind for that impulse buy from consumers? Uh, for impulse, I'd say you've got to be, you know, no more than $15. Yeah. But I'd say up to 30 bucks if they're thinking about it and doing the research for your, your buyer that's already into it a little bit. Um, you know, and after that, maybe once they get acclimated to it and they learn more about it, I think they'll be more comfortable spending more money. But uh, right now, I think most of those consumers, you know, you've got to get them in. Price is, gonna, price is definitely going to be an issue. And as we said before, the familiarity as well. So, um I've seen products that can get, that go as, as low as five ninety nine for, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of gummies or, you know, something like that. Uh, and, you know, of course, we've seen the ones that are a lot higher, too. So um, I think getting them acclimated and getting folks the education end of it, the price end of it, and then uh, also the familiarity as far as the product goes. I think all those three things together, it's going to take all of that to uh, just make this more mainstream and, uh, you know, get these benefits of CBD to all these consumers. And it's certainly been a challenging year in 2020 with everything that's that's gone on, and, and the mm. and the C store space is is certainly you know um, susceptible to all the challenges that uh, everyone else has been going through. What are some of the changes in the C store space that the industry has faced uh, that you've seen this year? As far as CBD goes, you mean, or yes, um, well. Being just a product along with all the other products, I mean, uh, tra foot traffic had dropped for a while mm -hmm. there. Uh, the fuel traffic uh, dropped an awful lot mm -hmm. as well because people aren't going anywhere. Things are starting to bounce back a little bit now. Um, but again, back to the whole pricing thing, it's, you know, just getting people to start buying again. And uh, I, I think a, there was a jump a bit mm -hmm. in um, CBD products as far as anxiety, uh, mm -hmm. things of that nature. And they certainly do work for that. Um, but I think a lot of people started to go online. And so that kind of maybe took the edge off of that a little bit for them. But uh, I think 
now people are still going to be buying CBD. It's just a matter of getting everything back up and open and safe yeah. and all that kind of thing. But, um, you know, I, I think the retailer is going to be good. And I think they're also a lot more are more friendly every day that I, mm-hmm. that I talk to. Because so I talk to retailers uh, every month for my stories, for mm-hmm. either they're online or in the print um, magazine. And more and more are more open and friendly to CBD and the options. And um, I think some of them, uh, I was speaking to one this week, and he, he was saying how he's just not sure what a good product is and what a bad product is. And so he needs the education yeah. himself. So this is another thing that I think the reputable companies are going to be the ones that filter down. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going to see a lot of these other fly-by-night operations uh, go by the wayside. Hopefully we'll get some federal leadership on this stuff. Um, the dearth of regulation. I mean, there's regulation, but it's not enforced exactly. or uh, they haven't jumped in on something else. And it's just, you know, there's, there's no leadership there from the federal government. Um, so you're, you know, you're stuck with the states and the, you know, the patchwork quilt and all that with states and local ordinances. Mm-hmm. But um, I think it's coming along and uh, the C store, I think is going to be a great place for it too, because it's like all these other convenient products. Yeah. It's right there. It's going to be at the checkout or whatever. And once folks know more about it and once the retailers know more about it, I think you're going to see it take off and really, really mainstream. And in addition to uh, educational resources like our podcast and your guys' podcast, um, obviously, uh, C-Store Decisions has a lot of educational resources. And in the CBD uh, space, what are some of the new educational resources that you guys have uh, launched here uh, recently? Well, we've been doing just across the board with our uh, C-Store Decisions website, but also um, I'm in charge of the CBD Retail Trends website. And uh, just we're, we're trying to post I, I, my outlook on that is I'm trying to post things that are be helpful to retailers Mm -hmm. so they can learn about the products, learn what they are, familiarize them with it. Um, You know, there's kind of a balancing act you've got to do because some, some things about hemp farms and things like that, they're interesting. I find them interesting, but the retailer is not going to know what that's about or not really Mm going to care what that's about. They want to know what's a good product. How do I tell a good one from a bad one? How do I, how do I know what a topical is going to do? What's a tincture? What's the difference between the oils? So we have FAQs on our website that tells you, you know, uh, what's the difference between CBD oil and uh, CBD tincture? Mm -hmm. What's the difference between this and that, you know, that kind of thing. So you can find that information on our CBD retail trends. You can also find some of that on our, uh, Uh, C-Store Decisions website too. And I invite our uh, listeners and our viewers to uh, visit both of those websites. You can also sign up uh, for all the uh, email newsletters. Uh, You guys do a great job. I know weekly on the uh, CBD retail trends with some of the latest new products uh, and then uh, just about uh, daily or so on the uh, C-Store Decisions. So do visit both of those websites, sign up for the newsletters and you can all stay uh, informed and get educated on everything CBD from uh, the We're trying. Businesses. Yeah, that uh, Sea Store Decisions has uh, has going on. So, Thomas, I want to thank you for taking time uh, to join us for this episode of the CBD University podcast, and hopefully, we can do this again in the uh, near future. I'd love to. Thanks. This was great. Very easy. Very uh, as I say, swift and painless, or quick and painless. I guess. But <laughs> it's great. You're a great Thanks. host. I appreciate your time as well. You know, it's really cool to be on here. Thank you. Thomas Malloy from C-Store Decisions, my guest on this episode of the CBD University podcast. And as I mentioned in the intro, if you have not yet done so, I invite you to subscribe to our podcast, the audio version on your favorite podcast app of choice or the video version or both. Uh, The video version available on our YouTube channel. That's the YouTube channel at Global Widget and the YouTube channels of our brands. You'll get notifications when new episodes are published each week. For now, I'm Joe Agostinelli, the host of the CBD University podcast. Thanks for tuning in. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. The CBD products are not intended to treat, cure, or prevent any disease or condition. Always consult your personal physician about CBD and using CBD products. CBD should never be used by anyone under the age of 18. This content is not intended to provide legal advice regarding the legal status of CBD and CBD products.